Welcome back. You know what day it is. It's Monday and that means I'm ready for the magic. The magic from uh, Halloween and the magic today is the Day of the Dead. The Day of the Dead, the celebration of Mexico and also uh, putting an altar up with all of your ancestors and remembering them. I don't know if you saw the movie Coco years ago, a few years back, but that was highlighted. That is what the theme of that movie was about, was about not forgetting your ancestors and not forgetting where you came from. So today, um, usually on Mondays, I do a little bit of teaching. So that's what I want to teach as we go into the fall season and after that beautiful blue moon and recognizing that our ancestors, a lot of uh, folks feel that this time the veil between worlds is very thin and that may sound a little woo woo but that's part of my life that I am um, embracing and talking about on Delisa's Life Dance. So because I am a traditional African dancer there has been a few projects I'll put the links below that has happened in Zimbabwe with my dance director Julia Chigamba with her family and also here with her son and a uh, couple other musicians put on a live concert last night. I'll put the links below. Please check it out. It's connecting with your ancestors, getting magical, getting the magic from them. Lots of times we need our ancestors so that we can go forward and move our, move our lives forward. And this time of year is a time of closing off a of one, um, one type closing off the year in one way and beginning another so new beginnings i want to emphasize uh, today with everyone out there think about what you can leave behind and what we can open up and enjoy for our futures so you know i'm very into that i'm not going to be political but we can see around the world how new beginnings is something that we want to see especially with this difficult pandemic and the response all around the world and entering, I guess this is the third wave now of the virus. So, and, and trying to understand how are we living with this virus? How are we living at the same time of this virus? We are special spirits. We were chosen to endure this and we need to recognize all those who have lost their lives and now they are ancestors. And although it is very, very sad and very, very um, upsetting that we have so much loss of life around the world, especially also here in the United States, but we have to recognize that loss and see how we can not let their death be in vain. So that's a little bit of how I'm feeling at this time uh, during this 2020, closing the year off still, some going back into sheltering in place, some not able to even speak for themselves. Uh, so I feel very blessed and I want to send those blessings out to all of my viewers and to everyone. I also want to let you know, shout out to me. I'm going to be on the Happiness Now channel. I got interviewed, interviewed by Rob Chana and that will be airing on this Friday. So I will have my Fantastic Friday and I will also put the link to the Happiness Now channel so that you can see me talk about happiness. How in the world can we be happy with all this? But we can, we must endure, we must see the positive, and always, my cup is always, 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 I try to always make it half full or completely full. So with that said, I'm out here with little Sar, and she is a true hunter. She was going after the crows, she's been lurking around the ground, looking for smelling animal scents, she has a hunter spirit, so it's no wonder that she's with Mama D <laughs> and the Chinikari Ensemble. She is now our mascot. As you all know, Chinikari, we play music that is very slow and deliberate, but we also know how to kick it up with Dine and fast footwork. And that's actually Little Star. <laughs> she's a lap dog until she sees a bird or something and bam, she's out. She's smelling the scent. She's going for it. She's moving those little feet, just like a Chinikari dancer would. <laughs> so thank you all, and I'll see you on Friday, and I hope you all tune in to the Happiness Now channel and see my interview airing this Friday, November 6th. 
It is a magical Monday and a wonderful week. I love you all. Ciao, ciao.